Hi, Maria. Hi, peaceful madre. Hi, Mr. Cry. <laughs> Hi, Cairo. Hi. Oh my God, bird, yes. Little bird. All right, so I'm gonna wait for people to be able to come in and get the notification. Today we're gonna to be talking about some new stuff, so we'll get going in a minute. Peaceful Mother, I watched your video on bunnies and got five. I love how real you are, and I love your channel. Keep up the good work. Thank you. That's really nice of you. Okay, Cairo's going to hide now, I guess. Let's see. Higher Gear MX, you helped me out with good tips on sugar gliders. I recently got two brother sugar gliders, both four months old, and had them for two weeks now. Thanks. I'm glad you uh, were able to get some information from my videos. Lennon Rhea? I hope I said that right. Uh, you've been watching for two years. Yay. <laughs> That's awesome. Mackenzie says, you are number one. <laughs> That's nice of you. Allie's Furry Little Corner, I'm getting a black Labrador for a service dog. That's awesome. Congratulations. Trying to give people some time to be able to get into the live stream. JJLB says, I just got off of work. I work at a zoo. That's pretty cool. What do you do? Oh, higher M, higher gear MX. Oh, you're using the discount code? That's awesome. Yeah, that helps out a lot. Especially when you have to order your pet supplies, you know, like every month. Like I, I order my pet supplies usually like once a month. All right, so we're about like four minutes in, so that's a good time to get started. And seems like they have a lot of people. So hi, everybody. So today, what I wanted to talk about is um, I'm going to be trying something new on YouTube. And I've gotten some inf inspiration for this from a few other channels that are not pet channels. They're like a different genre on YouTube. But 
I think it's really, really cool what they're doing. And they do live streams where they have topics that they discuss and include the viewers in that conversation. And so I think that's going to be something really cool to bring to the pet side of YouTube. I don't know if any other pet tubers are doing this. Um, let me know if anybody is, because it's, I think, a really cool idea and really cool content for the channel. So basically what's going to happen is I am going to be moving my upload days to just Friday. I'm only going to be uploading one video a week. I usually upload two videos a week but I decided to go back down to one and then start doing live streams once a week. So my live streams are probably going to be every Monday. Um, that's the schedule that I'm looking at that's probably going to work, and it would be around this time. So what's going to happen is each live stream is going to focus on a certain topic. So it's not just going to be like, um, I guess, live streams I've done in the past or that a lot of people are used to where you just come on and, and talk to people and answer questions and stuff like that. It's going to um, follow more of, I guess, like, uh, I'm going to kind of think about what topics I want to talk about and then follow that instead of for it to just be random, which I do like doing the random uh, streams. That's fun, too, especially when I'm answering questions from you guys. But the live streams that I'm going to be trying to do are going to just cover certain topics. So, for example, uh, one day we'll sit down and we'll just talk about service dogs and try to help people understand the difference between emotional support dogs and service dogs and answer a lot of questions just about service dogs and bring up important uh, points and things to know about service dogs. And then another day we'll focus on something like spay and neuter and talk about when it's the right choice for pet owners, when um, a different choice might be the right choice. I think spay and neuter is another topic that we can really discuss a lot and people can share their thoughts in the comments of why they think that spay and neuter is um, a good choice or why they think that um, it's, it's not. So yeah, that's going to be like kind of what we're going to be focusing on is certain topics, but talking about it together as a community and involving everybody in the conversation. So uh, for example, um, when we're doing that, uh, just what we're going to try to do is make sure that the comments are really actually focusing on the topic we're discussing. So it, I want you guys to be part of the conversation and I want to be able to talk to you and discuss these ideas. So it's going to be important to actually focus on the topic. So I know a lot of times like when we do, I mean, we like other pet tubers and stuff and do live streams. It's like the biggest thing is always tons of questions of how many animals do you have? Who's your favorite pet? Um, how long have you had animals? Things like that. And so those are questions that I answer a lot. You can even go back to other live streams or even just Q and A's when I, where I answer questions like that. So uh, questions like that won't come up. Like they, I'm not going to be answering just everything that I get in the comments, I'm going to be answering the questions that really focus on the conversation and I guess really bring something to it. Like if you're commenting, you know, something that is insightful about the topic or, you know, wanting to know more about it, that's the type of comments uh, that I'm going to be looking at and looking for. So hopefully this will work. It's going to be interesting because it's going to be something uh, that we're going to test out. This is going to be kind of a trial to see how it works and if it's possible to actually do something like this um, on, on YouTube and through live streams. And I think it's something that could be really fun, but we're going to have to be able to see, like, it's, it's going to rely too on the community. So see how the community responds to it and if you guys like it and if you guys are, you know, into that, like if you're going to really be engaged and make the live streams really good, because I'm going to bring the topics and then we're going to like discuss them together. And uh, the other thing too is, so, you know, I, I gave you some examples of some of the stuff we can talk about. We can also talk about current events, things going on with animals in the world. And then also I'm um, so, so open to talking to other creators. And I think that's going to be something uh, really fun. First, I'm going to try this out for a few weeks and see where it goes and how it's doing and kind of learn how to do it for myself um, before before having somebody live stream with me. 
but I'm really hoping that it goes well and it's something that you guys really enjoy. And then I'll be bringing um, other creators to live stream with me. So anybody watching, if you're a creator or if you know a creator, uh, you know, tweet them or or comment on them, letting them know if you guys if you want us to to do something together, like a live stream together. And it's not just um, for agreeing on the same topics. Like, I think it would be fun to just talk to other creators about animal care because I want the community to be uh, more of a conversation and more open to stuff. So that's going to be really fun. So I would really like to actually have other creators come on here and we can talk about a subject and, you know, I think it'd be really cool, even if we don't agree on stuff, to just keep everything um, nice, you know, and actually be able to have a conversation about it uh, in a respectful way. <laughs> Let's see. Um, all right. So uh, what else? Um, also, uh, one thing to remember when we are doing this is that we're... <laughs> I am going to also monitor the comments. Um, sometimes when I've done live streams, it's gotten really, really ugly in the comments just because some people come on to troll. So rude comments, things like that is going to be deleted um, or, or banned actually from commenting so that we can have a conversation without having to deal with stuff like that. So that's the really important thing too, is that I want people to be able to express their ideas and how they feel on things in a mature way. So if there's somebody that's being super rude in the comments or just being vulgar, we're going to try to um, take that out and ban them from commenting so that it doesn't just turn into like something like that. <laughs> uh, at Ali's Free Little Corner, that's awesome idea and about about rabbits on Easter, how it's still a problem. Yeah, see, like, that's um, stuff we can talk about, like, things going on in uh, in the world that um, are affecting animals. So, yeah, that's going to be some of the stuff. Let's see, I took notes. So, what else? Um... That's pretty much it. Um, like I said, it's it's going to be a trial to see how it goes. Got to do these like once a week. Um, I'll probably also be posting like in the morning. Like if I'm going to be doing the live streams on Monday, which I think I am, I'm probably going to be posting in the morning um, what the topic's going to be about so that you guys can come in at six. Well, it's six mountain time here so that you can come in at that time and know what we're going to be talking about. And yeah, so um, I have another thing to talk about right now, but that pretty much concludes basically my explanation of where the live streams are going to be going. I have one more thing to talk about, but bef um, but after that, I am going to do a Q&A so that I can answer some questions. And that's going to be, you know, anything you guys want to ask. But then once we um, start doing the live streams, um, like next week on a regular basis, I'm not going to just be taking the random Q&As anymore. And I'm going to try to focus these videos, these live streams on certain topics. And they'll probably be like about an hour long. I think that's that's usually the amount of time that I live stream for when I do go on. And so having like an actual topic to discuss and stuff, that's it's probably going to be like an hour. That's what I'm thinking. Well, Cairo's still here, but he's like so shoved into my hair. Okay, so first, uh, I wanted to talk about Pet Fest. So, Pet Fest is an event that is going on during the summer, and it's a really cool event because you're going to be able to meet a lot of creators from Pet Tube. So, there's going to be a lot of other people that are going. I'm going to be going. I'm going to be there uh, meeting uh, subscribers and just having a good time. And it's going to be a really awesome event. Uh, we're probably going to have more details on it later because we're going to do like panels, like Q&As, um, meet and greets, things like that. Um, I don't have like all the details on that yet, but it's going to be really fun. So 
Uh, you can buy tickets already, so be sure to buy your tickets because they are limited and the tickets will sell out. So it's a good idea to get your tickets now if you guys do want to go. It's going to be in Phoenix, uh, so that's a cool place to also travel to if you're from out of town to be able to go meet all of us. Does anybody have any questions about Pet Tube? I'm going to be putting up some stuff like on Instagram and Twitter about Pet Tube. I mean, <laughs> Pet Tube, about Pet Fest. Um, so, uh, let's see. Uh, yes, Phoenix, Arizona is where Pet Fest is being held. So, I'll put up some more information. They do have an Instagram account and a Twitter account. So you guys can go and follow them and then that way you stay up to date because uh, they're announcing creators up until the end of the month. Um, and it is also open. So if anybody's watching that does make pet videos, uh, there is still time for you to decide to come to Pet Fest and hang out with us. So yeah, that's going to be cool. All right, so it looks like you guys, um, most of you probably already heard of Pet Fest, so that's good. That's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to that. So now let's uh, get into the Q&A so that you guys can get your questions out of the way, and then next week we're going to um, stay on topic. I'm still deciding what I'm going to be talking about next week, but it's going to be fun. All right, so let's see. Uh, Brianna, 10, 11. Megan, do you like Billie Eilish? Yes, I do. Uh, I think she's an amazing artist, super, super talented. Um, and yeah, her music is really cool. I, I just like how like creepy some of the music is and just so artistic. And it's really fun music to listen to. Her music videos are really cool also. Like... Um, I really like the music video, Bury a Friend. And of course, I love the way she has her hair colored. Billie Eilish is a Lana Del Rey copycat. <laughs> I don't think so. I think that um, Billie Eilish is different and also a lot better. Oh, that was right in my ear, Cairo. Animal Journey, how old are you? I'm 27. Uh, my birthday just passed, like, last week. Do you own your home? Uh, yes. It's kind of random. <laughs> uh, and... Don't you shame Lana Del Rey. <laughs> I do like Lana Del Rey music, but I, I do think that uh, Billie Eilish is better. How do you afford your animals? How do you get any, uh, do you get any funding? Um, basically just like, um, uh, uh, just like anybody, uh, working is how you afford stuff. Uh, funding, I guess you mean like grants or stuff like that? No, I don't get anything. Um, all income is just, uh, working. Uh, no, no free income, basically, if that answers your question. Yes, you're calling to the other birds. Uh, where do you buy your rodent toys? Uh, you know, I use a lot of, like, stuff um, at home for rodent toys, like uh, paper towel rolls, things like that. Um, but if I'm going to buy something, I usually buy it like from exotic nutrition. Uh, Peyton says, hi, my name's Peyton and I'm getting rat soon. Do you like the brand Oxbow for rat food? I'm thinking of doing a partial raw diet. Uh, you know, I actually don't really know anything about the uh, Oxbow brand. I haven't looked at that. When I had rats, I just fed them uh, fresh food all the time. They didn't get any lab blocks at all. Um, but you have to have a really varied diet for them if you're going to do that.
into the jungle says, which bird is that? This is Cairo. He is a green cheek conure, and he's a normal green cheek conure. So this is what they look like uh, in South America, where they're from. Uh, in uh, captivity, they have a lot of different uh, types, like colors and stuff, mutations uh, that are different colors. Um, so this is like the normal one. And then I have another one, and he's uh, a different color, and that's from breeding. So it's really cool. They come in a lot of different colors. Uh, fun stuff, 1212. Best veggies for a picky bearded dragon. I actually have a blog on my website. It's uh, mjhappytails.com. And I have a blog that talks about uh, making a salad for your bearded dragon. and has some really good options. I'm sorry, your nails. Uh, what are the best beginner pets for kids? I have a whole video on that. You should check it out. It's actually one of my, <laughs> geez, that scared me. It's one of my most watched videos, actually. And it's like one of my first videos. So I'm like super awkward. <laughs> Ruby June, is that a female or a male bird? I actually don't know. Um, I'm actually planning on doing like gender reveals. Um, in a few months probably uh but yeah i you can't tell um you can actually only tell be, using a dna test or if your bird lays an egg uh, which you don't want your bird to lay an egg um but yeah it's gonna be exciting to find out i have a theory that cairo's a girl maybe i don't know i don't know it's switched like i change my mind every couple weeks on what he is <laughs> or she is <laughs> Diamondback rattlesnakes are the best starter pet for kids. Close enough. Uh, Carsa Gecko asks, what animal would you never get? I would never get um, hot snakes. Venomous snakes. Nope. What does OOP mean? Why are you so OOP? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, somebody's asking about cows contributing to climate change. I think factory farming contributes to climate change, but becoming vegan doesn't necessarily fix that. Um, then, you know, people think that anybody that raises cows contribute whereas like it's it's not when you have a ranch and you have cattle like out on your ranch um that's a whole lot different than factory farming how did you tame your birds how long did it take no time at all because i do not buy birds that need to be tamed like that's um i would not recommend for people to buy parrots that need to be tamed Two, because like it's it's so um, affordable now too to get parrots that are hand raised. So um, I, I wouldn't even buy. I, I probably wouldn't um, adopt or buy a parrot that wasn't. My budgie is alone, and I want to get her a friend. But IDK, what should I do? Uh, definitely get them a friend. I highly, highly recommend it. I don't think that budgies should be alone. Uh, I would just get um, the opposite. Like if you have a girl, you know, make sure to get a boy. That's usually how they are able to get along. Oh, optimistic. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I just try to be. I just, um, 
feel like it's what I would want to watch and like I want to make positive videos, you know, that uh, make people happy to watch. I don't want to just be like talking about negative things. Some channels like that's all they talk about. Cats Berkeley, your hair is super pretty. Thank you. That's nice of you. All right, so I think I'll be streaming for about five more minutes today. And then um, I'll be going. Uh, but if you guys want to let me know, like, what topics you want for me to cover in live streams, like, um, things that you think uh, would be cool to talk about um, or that you want to know more about, you can actually tell me, like, on Instagram or Twitter. Tweet it to me. And... Um, and definitely get tickets if you're going to go to Pet Fest before they sell out. How is Caspian doing? Uh, Caspian's doing really good. He's really taken to retirement life. Um, he gets more dirty now. He always was super clean before. Like, he actually would stay clean, like, without me putting any effort into it. So now he gets dirtier. Um, like, he'll actually go and get in the mud. And... He's just, I don't know, he's just turning into such a farm dog. Can you house other parrots with cockatiels? No, it's not safe. Uh, they need to just be housed by themselves. But they can be around other parrots. Can you do hauls? You know, I do have some haul videos. They're in a playlist if you guys want to watch them. But I don't really enjoy doing haul videos. I just, I know people like to watch hauls, but I just don't, like, enjoy it. Like, I just don't, it like, <laughs> ow, <laughs> okay. I don't really like just sitting there unboxing stuff, like, looking at, like, oh, look, this is what I bought. Like, I don't know. Just... And to like, um, once I like get my packages, I just want to like open them up and use everything. Like, <laughs> I don't want to have to wait up, wait to like set up stuff and film it. Uh, can you make videos on saving money? I do have a video on how to save money with small animals like rabbits, hamsters, stuff like that. Uh, so check that out because that's a really good video. Um, but yeah, I probably should make more videos about how to save money with like other types of pets as well. Does the type of cat litter matter? Um, you know, for me, I'm not really too particular about it. I just want something that um, controls the odor. And that's usually through carbon. Um, I find that the ones that actually have scent don't do it as well as the ones that are actually just have carbon in them. Uh, but some people get really picky about the types of cat litter that they use. They only want like natural or they only want fragrance or uh, for me, I just like basic uh, carbon kitty litters and like cheap ones too, actually. I um, The litter that I'm using right now is a dollar per bag, but it takes care of the smell and it's supposed to be really safe for cats too. Uh, my animal journey, what do you recommend to to get your channel? Can you rewrite that one? I'm not sure what you meant. So that I can answer that. Um... So live stream with all these nice people. Yeah, actually, like, this crowd that we have today is super nice. Like, I have live streamed, and there have just been crazy people in the chat. So all of you are very nice. 
you're my inspiration to get my three sugar gliders. Yay! AKA fuzz butts. That's cute. <laughs> Is wet food good for cats? Uh, yeah, actually, it's really recommended. See, like, I can't get my cats to eat raw. They just won't. They're so picky. Like, one cat will literally, like, rather starve than eat a type of food she doesn't like. And I don't even mean, like, raw or, or kibble or different brands. No, I mean, like, the same brand. Like, there are certain flavors or um, textures that she just will not eat. And she's so, so picky. So, um, I feed them uh, ca half canned food, half dry food, but it's really recommended to feed wet food because they get kidney problems when they are only fed dry. And the reason I, I do still feed dry is because the wet food doesn't have enough protein. So um, I do a mixture. Otherwise, I would just feed them canned food. Oh my gosh, Satanic Hippie 24 is a new pig parent. Congratulations. Uh, I do have a playlist on pigs and that has information on how to feed them because uh, managing their diet can be tough and uh, keeping like the weight off of them. And then it, it talks about like um, just, I guess, stuff to expect. There's a whole playlist, um, lots of information there. So I check that out. Congratulations on your piggy. I love piggies. Oh, you've only seen me on Catalia's live stream. Yeah, that was like a year ago now. How do you control sugar glider odor? Well, gee, if you figure it out, be sure to tell me. My cat won't eat unless it's the most expensive food in the shop. <laughs> I was wondering if you could help with neutering decision. People are judging me because, oh, people judge me, but I want my pup to be healthy. Um, you know, neutering is not like the best choice for everybody. So it's like if you're trying to decide what's going to be right for your dog. And so it sounds like you, do you have a boy or a girl? Uh, it sounds like you have a boy since you're saying neutering. So, um, Neutering is good for people who have multiple dogs and want them to be together all the time. So um, that would be another reason, like if you don't, one of the reasons you don't need to neuter is if you are only going to have the one dog and it's not going to be with a female or something like that. Because uh, a lot of people don't understand how to control the heat cycles. Um, another thing is that's good for people to neuter is in case their dog escapes. So some dogs are more likely to escape and get out. Like, for example, like huskies are known for getting out a lot, like by jumping fences, digging out, things like that. And if your dog's going to escape, they could actually go and um, have a litter, uh, breed another dog, get bred. Uh, and then also, uh, if you have a male, males do mark. And so if you get your male puppy neutered, by six months, uh, they're not going to mark anywhere like inside your house or anything like that. And that's something that's super, super convenient for neutering. Um, I decided not to neuter the three male dogs that I have. And so they have to wear belly bands inside the house all the time when they're in, which is fine. Like it's, um, it's not uncomfortable for them. I put it on, they, the belly bands get washed and it's something that I'm willing to do, but it could be really inconvenient for other people. So that's one of the things to think about. Um, yeah, just uh, deciding if, if that's going to be something you can manage. And so it's, it's okay if you decide that you don't want to get your dog neutered and it's okay if you decide that you do. Um, more studies are showing that it's healthier for the dogs to stay intact but there's a lot of things to think about and you have to you know, think about how convenient it's going to be for you and, and what's best for your dog and your situation. But do it based on like what you want for your pet, not what people are telling you, uh, like based on like owner shaming. That's not a good, it's not, it's not good to like do that to people. I, I don't like it when they owner shame people. It doesn't even do anything. Let's see, where were we?
what's the best beginner horse? <laughs> you know, a lot of people want to get like a small horse, like a pony or something, because it's like, oh, my first horse and it won't be big, so it's not scary. And it's like, oh, no, ponies are awful. Don't get a pony. So the best starter horse is a horse that you don't own. So go to a stable or something like that where an instructor is going to teach you how to be around a horse and how to ride. That's the best, best way to learn. So that's a cat thing. The being picky, I guess so. Let's see, where were we? What bedding do you recommend for leopard geckos? Bioactive tanks, so uh, soil, coconut fiber, things like that. And then satanic hippie, I'm, she's the best. I'm feeding her fresh foods along with mini pig specific food. I Yeah, that's good. That's really good. I used to feed mini pig specific food, but right now the only thing that I can do to manage Petunia's weight is to only feed her vegetables. So she doesn't get like any type of grain or mini pig food. And also because like when you feed um, a pellet or something like that, uh, it's it, they have to get less then um, like a little bit and then they get too fat. So you have to like just feed them a, a tiny amount and it's less than if you actually just fed them vegetables or fresh food. So that's why I actually give her just vegetables is because I can give her a large amount. So she actually feels full and that's why I like feeding her that. Uh, I feed my cats Rachel Ray kibble is that bad. Um, I think it is. Uh, I've looked at a lot of Rachel Ray kibble bags and all the ones that I saw had fillers like corn, soy. And so I don't, I don't like Rachel Ray's kibble. Her wet food is really good though. What do you recommend for growing your channel? Uh, consistent uploads. Um, uh, just talking about like you know, the pets that you have, like just make videos that you want to watch and you know, don't worry about like other people being your competition. Just like focus on your channel, make uploads. Uh, you can also get Twitter and Instagram and try to gain followers through there by just also being like, uh, like communicating with other YouTubers on like Twitter, Instagram, that way, like commenting on their stuff, like engaging in the community. So yeah, just like stuff like that. Are your alpacas breeding now? I'm going to try. <laughs> uh, my two male alpacas are very young. They're only two years old this year. And I'm going to try, but I don't have high hopes for it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, actually, this month is when I'm going to be trying to breed them. I miss your hamster videos. Oh, I'm sorry. I know. I don't think I'm going to be getting another hamster, though. I just, I like them, but they live so such short lives and, oh. All right, so I think that's it for today. I actually went over the time that I said, but it's been about 40 minutes, so <laughs> I need to get going. But thank you guys so much for coming to this live stream. It was really fun, and you guys are all really nice, so that was awesome. Uh, I will be back next week, and we're going to be you know, discussing the subject, so I hope you guys are all back for then so that we can um, have another really good uh, chat. So thank you guys so much. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. And then you can see uh, what we're going to be talking about in the live streams. And also just follow my animals because I do post a lot of pictures about them. And um, two, like when I'm doing the live streams, like I said, I'm not going to be answering like all the random questions. So those random questions, you can really go and um, message, uh, not message me, comment on like Instagram or Twitter, tweet me. And I'll... Usually I do reply to the comments there. So just, you know, 
try to talk to me there and I will try my best to answer you guys. Um, so that, that way, if you do have like random uh, questions and stuff, you can get those answered too. So I will see you later. Bye. Bye.